Hello, I'm Bruce Francis. We're now going to look at common mistakes of Tai Chi beginners. The first one is this idea of all or nothing. I do it perfectly or I don't do it at all, which is basically a failure strategy. You want to fail in anything in life, say, I will, if I don't do it perfectly, then I will quit. That basically said, if you even start with something like that, it said you wanted to quit from the beginning, so why'd you bother to do it? So the first thing is this. With this, you have to realize that you don't want to do the weekend warrior bit. You don't do anything for the whole week, and then on Saturday or Sunday you try and do three hours and your body breaks in half and you're sore and you're messed up and then you don't want to practice for a month because you hurt so much from that one day you went crazy. The idea of doing it again is just really, really unpleasant. So you don't, it's not all or nothing. It's moderation. The 70% rule. Build it up. Do five minutes and then do 10 minutes a day then do 15. But do it. My real advice to this is that, you know, a way to, one way to start is just practice as much as it makes you really, really, you really get off on doing it. Don't push yourself to where it becomes really, really difficult unless you just have that kind of a personality that can persist in things when they are difficult. But that doesn't fit a lot of people, especially in instant gratification society. So the second thing is that there's a big thing in Tai Chi that is helpful if you get a good teacher, they can teach you. And I'll just show you this. Your body is always moving between getting in some way bigger and smaller. So for example, Look at my arms right now. Well, you could say that's getting smaller, and you could say that's getting bigger. But it's also, if we would, if I'll, I'll just take the yang for a moment. I'll, I'll take one kind, so many kinds of yang forms. But here, just watch. What's my body doing? It's getting bigger. It's extending, right? What's it doing now? It's shrinking. It's getting smaller. What's it doing now? It's getting bigger. What's it doing now? It's getting smaller. It's getting bigger, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. It's getting smaller again. Now, it's going to get bigger. So there's this constant sense of opening and closing. You're getting a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger. Your elbows and your armpits getting a little bit more open, a little bit less open. Even if you do more a traditional and you're very, very tight like this, you want to do something still. You just got smaller. You just got smaller. You got smaller, and then you got bigger. So this sense of that, this breathing, almost as though your body gets a bit bigger and smaller. Now, you can over-exaggerate this, of course, but at least to have some sense of that rather than just kind of everything's collapsed in and you just kind of stay collapsed in like a crab or something. You need to let your body open up. You need to let your body breathe. Now. Another big mistake beginners make is they don't pay attention to their breath. And that doesn't mean, oh, when I do this movement, I inhale. When I do that, I exhale. When I do this, I inhale. That's later, and there are different ways it's done. It's done when your arms extend, you inhale. And when your arms come back, you exhale. And there are other ones when your arms extend, you exhale. When your arms come back, you inhale. And both of these exist. And that has a lot to do with regular and reverse breathing. But the bigger thing is, people don't pay attention that when they're, when, they're, when they're practicing to letting their breath relax. And that's why when people practice, let they get to a point. And Tai Chi actually can work the inside of your body if you really do it correctly. You feel like you're being stretched in every direction. You don't want to end up with these, and your breath is getting, like, it's getting like, like all these kind of like vibrations and everything in it. You always want to relax your breath so you have a sense that your breath is relaxing your body. And relaxing your body is relaxing your breath, so they form a circle. That's a very important thing. So they, beginners need to pay attention to relaxing the breath. Next thing is your mind is not relaxed. Okay, so you're doing these movements, but if I, you know, if I would play theater, this is kind of how your mind is. Mm, yeah. Mm. And you're making faces, and your mind is getting tense, and your, your facial muscles are clenching. Your body's clean. There has to be a thing about you really want to realize that relaxation also means the mind relaxing. Now, another thing is this. Tai Chi's got a lot of movements, right? And a big problem is an old phrase that says you can't see the forest for the trees. Or when you look at the trees, you can't see the forest. You can't. The trees, the, the details, and the big thing. Well. No matter what you're doing, no matter what the style is, 
The fact of the matter is that what is the big thing? Oh, I'm making a big expansive movement. Where you could go, that's the big thing. But then you also go, oh, oh but my shoulder is exactly right. Or I forget the movement as I'm going, where am I doing my hands, my arms, my shoulders, something else. Always try and have a sense of the big picture as well as the small picture at the same time. Obviously, the details will make a huge difference, but they should only make a difference if they improve the overall big picture. Not just the details for their own sake. Because that can get kind of crazy after a while. Now, the other thing is this. There's a very big difference between Tai Chi and many forms of what in the West we call meditation. What is commonly done in meditation, many forms of which you just, you see these pictures, these images, and you stay focused on them. And you can see this when you see people doing Tai Chi. They're not actually feeling their body. When Tai Chi, you feel your body. And if you're going to visualize, if you're going to visualize, you must also feel your body. You must never feel, not feel your body, but visualize what you're doing. And you can see this. It makes a type of uh, disassociation. So, for example, I hope you can see this with my eyes. When I'm doing this now, I'm looking and I'm feeling my body. I'm feeling my body. I'm feeling my body. Or I can do it this way. I'll just do a different movement. I can be seeing myself doing this form, but I'm not really feeling my body. I'm just, I'm seeing a picture of somebody doing it. Maybe that's somebody's me, maybe it's somebody else. It's kind of hard to tell at times. But doing a movement so that you're just kind of out there and you're visualizing it is not the same thing as completely feeling what's happening inside yourself. And if you can visualize the inside of your body as you're feeling it, then it's fine. But if you only can visualize the inside of your body but not feel it, that's not fine. And what's worse of the all three is that you don't feel your body at all, but you visualize yourself like you're out here somewhere. For that, you might as well just get one of these brainwave goggles, let the lights flash, and listen to the sounds. Because that's purely a brain operation. It's not a brain operation. It's integrating with all the flesh of your body. So I think all of these together are big, very, very common mistakes that people make doing Tai Chi.